All right, let's warm up, you guys. <clears throat> Start moving your feet. How's it going, Paul? How's it going, Yui? How's it going? All right, move, move, stay on the balls of your feet. Back and forth. Left and right now. Okay, small, fast feet, forward and back. High knees now. All right, go to twist. Scissor those arms, turn those hips like you're doing roundhouse kicks. Keep your chest square. All right, we're gonna try something new back and forth. <clears throat> go nice and slow, you're gonna do a grapevine. You're gonna step and go over like that. You guys see that? Then go the other way. So you're gonna go behind in front, behind in front and use your hips. When you get the rhythm, try and speed it up like that. This is good for hip mobility. All right, good job, you guys. Stretch it out now. Hold your chest, look up and down. Pull down and resist. Push up and resist. Good, look left and right. Push and resist. Both sides. We're gonna do a really good stretching session today because we're doing a lot of kicks today. Tilt your head, pulling your ear toward the ceiling. Good. Now tuck your chin and stick it out. In, out, should look like this. In, in, and out. I go side to side, keep your eyes level. Good, chin to chest, half circles. So draw like a little U shape with your nose. And then back, half circles. And full rotations. Make your neck longer and longer. Other direction. Good. Shoulder shrug forward. And back. Open up your chest, deep breaths. Other direction. Spaghetti arms nice and loose, twist. Twist from the bottom of your toes to the top of your head and try and twist further and further each time. Good. All right, feet not too wide apart. All right, reach up and inhale. Drop it down, exhale. 
Rest your fingertips in the ground. I'm gonna take you through some new things today. All right, you're gonna sink your palm into the mat and that same side leg is gonna pulse, locking the knee and releasing. You're gonna loosen up your hamstring, loosen up your knee joint. Once your palm is all the way in the mat, pulse that leg. Feel that stretch and do the same thing other side. Slowly pulse it as you sink into the mat with your palm. Once your palm is flat, pulse that leg. Good, now open up your stance a bit more. Go to the middle for a deeper stretch. Good, all right. Rotate your body to the left or one side. You're gonna go knee over toes. You're gonna go all the way down, touch your heel to your hamstring. See that? I'm touching my heel to my hamstring. Knee over toes. Then you're gonna push back, you know this stretch. On that back leg, make that heel, leg straight, stretch the calf. And then you're gonna go knee down, dip your hip, stretch your quad. And then you're gonna come up as both fingertips are on the ground still. Stretch the hamstring, feel that? Do all four of those back to back now. All four of those stretches, knee over toes. Stretch the calf, back heel. Knee down, dip your hip. Stretch your quad and then come back up, both legs, arms straight. Good, rotate your body to the other side. You're gonna repeat the process at your own pace. Do all four of those stretches again. You have both feet back now. Make an A-frame, down-facing dog. Relax your neck, let your head drop. Go on your toes and back on your heels. Feel that stretch. Stretch like a cat toward the ceiling. Extend your tailbone toward the ceiling. Breathe. Good, dip it down to Cobra. Look up, stretch your abs. Look over each shoulder, stretch your obliques. Push it all the way back to child's pose. Open up your knees as you sink into the floor. You can reach out and grab something with each hand. Feel the stretch. Good. Come up to cow position, hands and knees. You're gonna flatten your back, look up, and you're gonna arch it, roll it, look down. And just listen to your body, loosen up your spine. Good, now we're gonna sit up in open guard position like we're doing jujitsu, but we're gonna keep our hands behind our knees and we're gonna roll it out, massage our back. Try and do each side of your spine. Good, lie flat now. Supine position, leg straight in the air. Do little circles with your toes. Loosen up that ankle. Go both ways. Make that leg even straighter. Pull it across your body. Look to the opposite side with your arm extended. And try and release that tension in your lower back.
All right, draw three big circles. One, two, three, good. Make a triangle with that leg now. Stretch that glute. Try and relax. Let the stretch do its work. Good. Now straighten the other leg. Loosen up that ankle. Both ways. Make it even straighter. Pull it across your body. Uh, try and release that tension in your lumbar. You can even massage your lower back as you do the stretch to kind of force your back to reset and relax. All right, draw three big circles. Very good, make a triangle with that leg. Stretch your glute. Try and relax, let the stretch do its work. Good job, roll it up to Spider-Man squat. I'm gonna show you guys something I haven't been able to do in like a year. So go to Spider-Man squat, high on your toes, okay? Now I'm gonna show you something new, it's kind of cool. You're gonna go on your heels nice and slow to Asian squat, and you're gonna feel this really nice stretch in your lower back. This really helps prevent injuries with kicks. A lot of people when they do kicks, sometimes they injure their back because they're not stretching this part of their back. Go back to your toes and feel it again. So your knees are open, hips are open. As I'm lowering down, you should feel that lower back stretch. Good. Go back to Spider-Man. Now one foot out, open up that hip, stretch that hamstring. Same thing on the other side. This is the stretch I haven't been able to do in such a long time because of my ACL. I can do it now. Because of all these exercises we just did, this will help uh, strengthen uh, the joints, the lower body, the legs, the knee. Prevent injury, also help rehab if you ever injure yourself. All these exercises I've been doing. Okay, feet together, hands together, roll it up nice and slow. Reach up, lock your fingers and lean. Good job, you guys. That was an epic stretch, but I love epic stretches, especially before workout. A glove up, let's get in front of a bag. All right, guys, the theme today, um, I'm going to be doing a lot of the techniques that I saw in the past UFC. I don't know if you saw all the videos everyone posted, but Leon Edwards had a crazy upset knockout. Um, you guys know Leon Edwards. He's from the UK. He, uh, he won the belt from Kamara Usman, who was becoming the most dominant champion of all time, almost broke all the records, the Anderson Silva record, 16 wins in a row. He beat him with 56 seconds left in the fight with a beautiful head kick knockout because he set it up perfectly. So we're gonna set it up with punches and that's how you set up kicks. You have to set up kicks with punches. You don't just kick, okay? So um, I'm gonna start the timer. You guys go ahead and start warm up. Uh, I just want to see a nice in and out jab. We're going to add on to it as we go, okay? Let me turn on the timer. Step in and out jab. You guys ready? Go. In and out jab. In and out jab. Nice and easy. Step in, step out. That's how we're going to set this up. Stay nice and loose, relaxed. Hands up. Mix up the rhythm sometimes. Sometimes you do a slow change up. Sometimes you do a fastball. Change directions with the jab now. Sometimes I move left. Sometimes I move right. And move. Mix it up. Good 
Mix up the speed, the direction. The jab is the most important punch. Why? Because it sets up everything. You have a good jab, you get someone to react. You see how they react, you set up the next strike. Does that make sense? That's why my jab, I use my jab all the time. When I first spar somebody, the first thing I throw is a jab. I want to see how they react to it. Okay? Good. Almost there, 10 more seconds. Nice, clean jabs. Mix up the direction, mix up the speed, mix up your movement. Mix up the levels now, go low. Sometimes go high. Go to the body, see what they do. All right, we're halfway there at the two now. One, two, right down the pipe. One, two, right down the pipe. Move your head off the center line when you throw that cross. Move your head off that center line. Keep going. 30 more seconds. Change levels. Go high with the jab, low with the cross. Go low with the, uh, the jab, high with the cross. Mix it up. Move around the bag now. Sometimes fake the jab. Throw the cross instead. Sometimes fake the cross, throw the jab instead. Fake the one to the two, fake the two to the one. Mix it up. Good, 30 seconds left, jab cross to the end. Go, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Almost there in 10 seconds, fast as you can. Go, speed, 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 speed. Woo! Okay, now let's use the jab to set up all kinds of kicks, all right? So the first one, the most basic one, you guys, I want you to go jab, teep, jab, teep. Make sure to teep from your stance. I don't want you, I don't want to see you teep and then change your stance. So teep right from your stance. Stay balanced, okay? Lean back, drop the same side kicking arm. You guys ready? Jab teeth, we're gonna add on to it. Three, two, one. Jab teeth, let me see ya. Make the teeth feel like a jab, if that makes sense. Make the teeth feel like a jab. Let me check you guys out. Good. Paul, lean back a bit for that teep. Lean back just a bit like you're dodging a bullet. There. <laughs> yep. Good job, Luke family. You guys are doing great. Timing those teeps. Keep going, we got 15 more seconds. Jab to the teeth, jab to the teeth, make it flow. Ba, 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 ba. To me, it feels like I'm doing another punch. It's just my foot doing it, right? So nice and smooth. All right, the next minute, jab to roundhouse. So I'm just gonna try and connect these two. Jab, roundhouse, make it flow, ba, 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 ba. Yes, yes. Make it flow. My jab sets up that roundhouse. My jab sets up that roundhouse. Good. Oh, turn those hips, good. Because you don't wanna blast that standing bag too much. Yeah, you guys can modify that kick a bit so you control it. So if I did it in the air, if I didn't wanna blast that bag too much, I'm doing more of a diagonal kick, right? You guys see that? Do more of a diagonal kick. Coming at a 45 degree angle instead of a Muay Thai kick, which is like a baseball bat. Do a little modified kick. It's called a diagonal kick. Comes at a 45 degree angle. That way you don't knock over your bag. Okay? Boom. Keep going. You got 20 seconds and we'll add on to this. Make it smooth. Keep 
going. Almost there. All right, grab the bag, knee till the end, last 30. Finish strong. Time. Okay, now we're gonna work on the setup of how he did the knockout. So traditionally, what uh, you're trained to do is to kick with the opposite leg. So if I jab, right, you expect a roundhouse to come the opposite leg. Same thing if I do a cross, you expect a roundhouse to come opposite leg, but he knocked him out with the same side. So we're gonna work on the jab to a step roundhouse, same side. So jab, step, roundhouse, all right? He's a lefty, so he did it from the left side. So we're gonna jab and switch for step, roundhouse, depending on how far you are. If you wanna start off far from the bag, watch this. I'm gonna jab, step, roundhouse. I'm not even touching the bag. I'm throwing the jab out there just to get the person to react. It's a very fluid motion. It's almost like you're going to long guard and there's a kick right there. And what they do is they dip their head underneath the punch and you kick him in the head. So imagine that, keep going you guys. Imagine as you punch, they dip their head out of the way and your foot is there, ready to kick them. Yep. Good job. Keep going, you got 30 seconds. Yeah, boom, roundhouse right there. And Paula, you can start it off from far away. So if you want to start it off from far away, you're not even touching the bag, you just get to, there you go, that's it. That's the setup. 10 more seconds. Okay, try the other side now. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna throw a jab cross, which, which is what Leon Edwards did. He's a lefty, he's a southpaw. He threw a jab, cross, then the roundhouse. And he didn't even hit the, the punches. The punches were there, so the guy ducked out of the way and got head kicked. All right, so one, two, boom. Let's go, last minute. You can do it from far away like me. I'm gonna throw the one, two, stop. I'm gonna throw the kick. One, two, kick. So you condition, condition a person with punches, punch, so they slip out of the way and then you kick them, right? Set up kicks with punches. That's a whole, a whole story. Here we go. Keep going, guys. 30 seconds left. Finish strong. One, two. Have that kick right behind the punch. What? seconds. Try the other side now. Finish strong. Try both iterations. The jab. The jab cross the kick. Back to the jab kick. Jab cross. Good job, you guys. All right. Let's end things with the kicking uh, stamina. So you need your gloves for this. So we're going to try and make it three minutes. And I want you guys to follow along with me. We'll be doing all different kinds of kicks, but doing them from our stance. So that's the hard part. You have to keep balance and not change your, your footwork, okay? So we'll start off with teeps. When I want you to do the teep, I want you to do it right from your stance. The most common mistake is to do teep, then take a couple steps, don't do that. Let's go. Teep from your stance, 30 seconds. Right from your stance. Stay balanced. Try and keep the same point every time. Keep the same point every time. I'll watch the clock. Ten more seconds. Okay, 
Okay, rear teeth, let's go. Rear teeth from your stance. Don't change your stance. Rear teeth. You can hit with your heel or your whole foot. Stay balanced. Keep going, I'll we'll watch you. Stay balanced. Rear teeth. Good, Paul, let's go. Good. Bounce off that target, come right back to your stance. All right, pick a side, do a roundhouse now, nice and easy. Take those hips, pivot on the ball of your lead foot. Good, let's go. Good job, Yui. Relax the same side, kicking arm. Almost there, five more seconds. Okay, same thing, other side, nice and easy. Once you make that rhythm, don't stop. Keep going. That rhythm, yep, yeah, keep it up. Try and do it right from your stance. No extra steps, Paul. Right from that stance. Yep, Luke family got it, let's go. Don't stop that rhythm though. Here we go, five more seconds. All right, now go back and forth with the teeps. We're gonna go teep, teep, like we're walking uphill. Right from our stance, no extra steps. Teep, both sides. Back and forth, giant steps. Good. Here we go, yep, touch, touch, right back. 10 more seconds. Okay, let's end with the hardest one. Roundhouse is both sides. Just rotate that body, both sides. Turn those hips. It's like beginning of class, we do those twists. This is the twist. Turn those hips back and forth, touch, touch. The hard part is not taking extra steps. That's the hardest part. Finish strong, five seconds. Three, two, one. Good job, you guys. All right, let's move on to hands now. Get your gloves back on. Let's try and burn out those arms for the end of this class, okay? So you gotta push yourself. Every 30 seconds, I'm gonna change the type of punch. You go as fast as you can. Last 10 seconds, we sprint though, okay? You guys ready? Start jab cross. Three, two, one. One, two, one, two, let's go. Burn out those arms. Long arms, chin down. Let's go, guys. It's work. Let's go, I'm gonna watch the clock. I'll let you know when to sprint. Here we go, three. Two, one, 10 seconds, fast as you can, speed, speed. Push yourself. Long arms, Paul, long arms, Paul. There you go, buddy. All right, hooks. Nice and easy. Back to second gear, hooks. Let me watch you guys, elbows up, elbows up. Bounce, bounce, bounce off the back to your target. Get ready to sprint, ready, three. Two, one, speed now, hook speed. Let's go, bounce off the target, right back to your guard. Like a machine gun. Okay, uppercuts. Nice and easy. Knuckles down, palms up. Shoot from the hip, shoot from the hip. Keep going, get ready to sprint. Ready, and go, fast as you can, uppercuts. Up, 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 up. We're halfway there, guys. Stay strong. All right, just the jab now. Burn out that lead arm. Just the jab. Good, you gotta turn that body though. Don't use all your arm. There you go, put that shoulder forward like you're poking something. Yeah, that's it, poke the bear. Get ready to sprint. Here we go. Three, two, one, sprint. Pop the jab, pop the jab. Speed, speed. Let's go. Almost there. 
Okay, cross, nice and easy. Last minute, you guys, throw that cross. We're gonna sprint this in a second too. You gotta burn out these arms. Okay, when we sprint, I want you guys to pop, extend all the way back to your guard. Ready? Three, two, one. Speed now. It's almost like a pull back cross. A pull back cross. I'm pulling back just a bit to launch the cross again. Good. Last 30, jab cross to the end. Burn out those arms. Burn out those arms. Let's go, burn out those arms. Long arms, chin down. Come on, there you go, Paul. Long arms, chin down. Yep, here we go, we're gonna spray and go, 10 seconds. Last 10 seconds of the whole thing, let's go. Woo! Three, two, one. Woo! Good job, you guys. All right, go ahead and unmute yourselves. Let me update me on your, uh, on your everything. Oh. Wow, Paul's got a sweat in. Look at that. What's it's 95 degrees here. 95 oh. and humid. I'm in Georgia, man. I thought I was going to kill over at one point. <laughs> oh, man, it's 80 right now here. So, yeah, it's warm, but not warm like where you're at, buddy. Yeah, it's humid out here, too, man. Yeah. The Luke family, you guys are sweating, too. Yeah. yeah. And it's not because of the weather. It's like warm. Yeah, it's London. So it's like 25 it's here. 25. <laughs> Celsius, no, we, we don't have Fahrenheit over here. Yeah, I, I don't know what 25 Celsius is. I'm guessing it's <laughs> not, not a lot. Not a lot. <laughs> yeah, people so, are wearing jackets outside, so yeah, yeah, that kind of weather. Oh, I see. Well, I, that's cool. You guys got a sweat on today, though. Yeah, some workout. Yeah. Do so you guys have any questions yeah. about anything? No, awesome um, workout. Jab, uh, jab cross, kick combo. Yeah. So jab cross. So I, I feel like when I was doing it, right, I felt like because we're doing level three at the moment, so we're used to doing jab cross switch. Yeah. Left. With this version, it feels like I'm already turned to the right. So yeah. the kick is a little less powerful. Is that yeah. kind of intentional or am I doing something wrong? Well, it's actually uh in a way it could be more powerful because of this. So let me show you why. Imagine a spring that you're stretching out. So when I throw my cross. If I stay extended up here and I have a length, right? Like this spring is ready to go, but I'm holding it. You can have a lot of power when you throw the cross. Cause if, if I know I'm gonna throw this kick, I'm not gonna turn my hip yet. See that? I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna throw that and then the kick, mm -hmm. right? As opposed to this, it's the same. It's the same thing. You're loading up this hip, except now I'm getting a head start with my upper body. And then my lower body catches up. There is a lot of power, but if you throw the cross and you turn your hip over already, then yeah, you, you lost that. You lost all that inertia or whatever built up energy you have. So same thing for this, for this uh, jab. If I throw a jab to kick, the reason why you want to step is so you can reload that hip, right? Or the reason why you want to switch is so you can reload that hip. If I throw a jab right to that kick, not powerful. If I throw a jab, step, kick, more powerful, right? So that hit, it's all about that hit. When you throw that cross, have that hit ready to go. Don't turn it all the way over, okay? Um, so yeah, it's a different technique. It actually works really well in combat. Um, I catch people all the time doing it. Sometimes I'll just throw a cross to parry or just to trap their hand. And then right around it, I have that kick ready to go. Or I'll throw that kick if I keep seeing, or the punch, if I keep seeing they duck their head around, because when you throw a, a cross, I, you guys are supposed to go to the outside of the punch. Your head is right here now. Your, your leg can catch that head. If that makes sense. So yeah. Yeah, yeah that's awesome. awesome. Did that answer you, Yui? Yeah, actually it does. Yeah, yeah. I think what I was doing just now was turning all the way on the cross. So like you said, it loses a bit of the kind of the built up energy. So yeah, I'll work yeah, on that. Yeah, it's all about the hip. That was a good question. Yeah. Um, Paul, how are you doing? Doing great, Coach. Okay, I love the class. Cool. You got any yeah, questions? Really enjoyed it. Oh, what was that? Really enjoyed the class. Oh, thank you, you guys. Thank you. It's uh, 
it's been interesting because things are changing, you know, um, coming back to normal. I'm teaching in person again, like four or five days a week, uh, but it feels good, you know, um, but I'm glad you guys still like these Zooms because a lot of the other GMAU instructors, they pretty much stopped doing the Zoom classes, but I kind of feel like it's a way for me to still stay in touch with you guys, you know, so I'll, I mean, I'll keep on doing them. Yeah, yeah if, if one day you'd like to have a live class like from all over the world, <laughs> we might fly over to meet you in person. We're saying that because Sensei Nathan recently <laughs> had the Ultimate Bow Live, which we couldn't make because of work, you know, because we had work at the time. But we're saying, yeah, if Coach Nick does one of these, <laughs> we can sort of go. Wait, what does that mean? He, he has people fly into his dojo or something? Yeah, yeah everywhere, yeah. all over the world. Yeah, he's invited all the students to go to where he is in Saskatchewan and says, yeah, come to my dojo. We'll do like a live seminar. Yeah, it's like a three days event. Three day course. Oh my God. Yeah, I got, <laughs> I'll probably have to do that at my my gym where I teach at um, to see, because this is way too small. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is my little garage and the mat is like 12 by 12 maybe or something, you know? So right. two people max <laughs> on this mat. But yeah, that, that sounds cool. I'll, I'll think about that. I never, I never even knew he did that. I thought it was like a live virtual event or something, you know? Yeah. Um, so you guys good to go? Anything else about technique? Because that, that's what I can really help with uh, before we, we end this um, meeting. And are any questions about anything you've seen uh, in fights or like, uh, I get questions a lot like, how do I use a technique in this case or something? Someone's trying to grab me or choke me or something. No? We've got to catch up on our UFC and then let you know. Yeah. <laughs> you haven't watched the recent one yet. We used to watch it live all the time, but yeah, since we moved to London, not so much because the timing is really awkward. Just like when the uh, matches go on in US time is usually like 3 a.m. over here. That's oh really... god yeah that's not good yeah, we... i yeah. want to be watching it either yeah well you guys it was good seeing you and um you guys will see this video if you want to redo it on the extras page on gmau so uh you guys take care good job today i'll see you next time all right thank you thank you bye